One of the problems you're going to run into in trying to model the train assembly is trying to put a hole in a cylinder. One of the most CAD systems, including Onshape, Autodesk Inventor, they will not allow you to put a sketch on a curved surface. So consequently, we have to add a plane surface or a, what we call a work plane, like a sheet of paper out in space in order to draw a sketch so we can extrude from that sketch. So since I have the round cylinder, which here might represent your locomotive tank, we're gonna to have to add a plane to that. And there's actually three planes, there's top, front, and right. And obviously the one we really need is the top one laying flat. So if you look up here, there's a plane button. And under plane, the, it defaults to offset. And that's basically the, the type we want is the offset plane. And so if we come over here and we actually click on top, that's actually putting a plane right through the middle of our part because that's where the origin is. But since I have made this cylinder three inches in diameter, I know that it's actually an inch and a half from the center up to the top. And so I'm going to actually change the offset distance to 1.5 and enter. And that actually moves. You see the little lighter plane moves up from the standard position at the origin up to the top of the cylinder. And if you actually look at it from the front view, you'll actually see this little blue plane at the top. is now sitting directly on top of my, um, on top of my cylinder, right? So I'm going to click check to accept that. And then I'm going to go back to the isometric view. And now that I've got a flat plane to draw on, I can just use my sketch tool like I normally do. I'm going to click on sketch. I'm going to click on the edge of the plane. You have to click on the edge of the plane generally to, to, to select it. And now that allows me to draw on that plane. I'm going to hit normal so we can look straight down on it. And now it's just a matter of doing your normal sketching and extruding. So you know, I'm going to draw my hole here and put the right size in. And uh, then once that's finished, I click on my sketch. I go back to isometric and uh, I'm going to extrude this. Now, there is a, a little issue here with extruding. So if I click on extrude, of course, it wants to go up. But I actually want it to go down, right? So I want to remove the material. And so I need to go to whatever depth, whatever blind hole depth it gives you. I think it's 0.25 in the train project. And so you're actually wanting to put a little hole uh, in the cylinder from the plane, the work plane down 0.25. And it should fit in there nicely. When we click the check mark, you see indeed that it does. And then you can actually turn off this, uh, this plane view here. You can actually turn off that plane so you can actually see your beautiful work that you've just ended up putting a hole in a cylinder. So good luck on your train assembly.